For the vlog, for the vlog, for the vlog, for the vlog, for the vlog. Hey, hey, hey. Damn. Make sure you subscribe before I knock your ass out. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Now, I know I've been gone for a long time, and I apologize, but sometimes you gotta take a break, but I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna show y'all a couple of things I'm gonna do before I head to Putacana, you know what I'm saying? And a couple of things that you guys need if you're ever gonna travel out of the state, all right? Number one thing you wanna get, look at this, all right? You wanna get a little travel bag. The reason why I said this, this is a travel bag where people can't scan your credit cards. They can't do nothing. They can't scam you. Because people over there, you know what they like to do? You know what I'm saying? At the airport, they like to go next to your bag, right? Listen, listen to this. They like to go next to your bag and try to read your cards. And then they can get all your credit card information because you ain't got the right bag. Now, this bag right here, as you guys can see, it blocks all types of devices trying to get into your credit card info or any type of info that you got on a card. You know what I'm saying? So listen to this. Second of all, this is what you want to do. I'm going to set y'all up right here real quick. Let me just talk to y'all real quick. So look at this. First thing you want to get ASAP. When you go get your money, you know what I'm saying? When you get your money, get this. This is very, very important. Okay? You don't know how important this is. You want to travel the world. You want to learn. So you get your passport. Then you get a bag like this because look it. They give you things like this. Now, zero grid. They give you this so you can put your cards in it, as you guys can see. And, and nothing will be able to get inside of it, okay? Boom. You're gonna need this in here because you're gonna wrap this around your neck. Because when you get to the airport, let me tell you something. You're gonna have it on like this. Because they're gonna be wanting to see your, air, your, your um, passport like every couple of seconds. So make sure you got this out, all right? Now, second of all, st stack your bread up, bro. Stack your bread up. Stack it up to the goddamn ceiling, all right? Because whenever you schedule to go somewhere, it be cheap out there. The money is different, especially in DR. I'm going to DR. The money difference, you could eat a big ass plate, you know what I'm saying, for a cheap. <laughs> When I say cheap, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like four or five dollars for a plate, a big plate. I know, no, not no chiquito, no, no, you know what I'm saying? I know no tiny plate. You don't get a, a nice little full plate, you feel me? So you need that. And I found a place where you can go shopping. If you live in the Connecticut area, New York area, or Boston area, over here on the East Coast, this is the store you need to go to, okay? I'm not that, that, that type of person that wears name brand and all that because I don't care. I don't care. You think name brand is gonna get me a girl, get me a girl or something like that? No, it's my personality at the end of the day, all right? It's the personality and how you, you riz them up. Y'all know that word right there, that, that riz. So I went to the store, right? I spent about like, like $200, you feel me? All of this. All of this, the whole suitcase is full for two hundred dollars. Where in God's name else, you know, you can get in this quality clothes? I forgot to tell you that it's quality clothes. Where in God's name can you get that? You can get a full outfit for under what? For under thirty dollars, and the quality is good. Oh my God! But I gotta go. Um to the bank so I can let them know that I'm leaving the country so when I get there and I scan my card I can use it instead of them saying yo you ain't got no money down there you know what I'm saying I'm gonna be hit but um I'm gonna run to the bank then I gotta go get a haircut and I'll show y'all that in a little bit but I hope y'all miss me let's get into it it's good y'all so I'm headed there a lot of people be thinking that you gotta have a you know a, a crazy car you know what I'm saying it's cause you do YouTube nah I got a car that go A to B Right? Know what I'm saying? It save a lot of gas, and it's a little Kia. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what the hell I drive. So the number one thing is to never let people get in your head. Don't care what people say. I drive a low Kia, you know what I'm saying? It look like a little grandma car, but I don't care. Because guess what? You see my gas tank? I done had this car. Been driving it for about two weeks. Going far, going close, and guess what? Only put $30 in it. 
So guess who's saving money? Me. My black ass. I mean, you can have a nice car, yes, when you get to that, that level. But if you don't need it, why get it? You feel me? I'm about to be traveling. You feel me? So why, why do I need a, a car where I'm going to be spending money? Right? Spending a bunch of buku money for no reason. It doesn't make any sense to me. You feel me? So save your money. And if you get a little car, do what you got to do. Don't worry about what nobody say. Because at the end of the day, if you want to go on a date or something like that, call an Uber up. You want a nice little car. You know what I'm saying? Or you can call your mama up. You know what I'm saying? Ma, let me, let me use your car real quick. You feel me? I ain't going to go nowhere, you know, that far. I'm not going to mess up your car. Just ask her. You drive a little car and then if the girl asks you, yo, this your car? Nah, nah. It's my mom's shit. I ain't want to bring you in my shit because my shit little. And I know, you know what I'm saying? People get a first impression when they see the, the car, so I had to impress you real quick. And, you know, they might understand. They might not. But you got to do what you got to do at the end of the day. You feel me? People be getting it twisted, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see my black ass, but people be getting it twisted. They be thinking this little car that got 121,000 miles don't push. I'll put this goddamn thing on too, and I'll be flying past their ass. They be like, oh, what the? Yeah, this thing got power and this thing made out of metal. I don't know about them cars nowadays that be made out of plastic because I be seeing people crash and shit and they whole car turn into a goddamn can. That is cheap as hell. I remember one day I had I had hit a deer and it just looked like my car had a busted lid. That's crazy, right? So I'm always I'm almost at the barber shop as you guys can see. My barber not even there yet, so I'm happy. Cause we both late at the end of the day. And yeah, this is what, you know, kind of the look the hood look like in Hartford, Connecticut. I mean it ain't bad. This ain't the bad part, but as you guys can see, this is where the Spanish people be at, the Boricuas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pulling up to the barber shop. I think this is his car right here. I think he just got here. I'm about to go pull up. And yes, guys, as you guys can see, this is a 2001 Kia. You know what I'm saying? I got the keys still. I ain't got to push the start. And I still got to roll up the goddamn windows. But it's all good. Because guess what? A motherfucker is saving some damn money. As long as I got money in my pocket, I am Gucci. Shit, I'm gonna left my phone in the car. That's the wrong thing to do in the hub. Hey, grab your shit real quick. All right, so if y'all ever been to this, this, this thing, you know what I'm saying, to the barbershop in Hartford, if you recognize this, this is the barbershop I go to right here, Five Star Clippers. As you guys can see, my boy, I think my boy just got here. He over here talking. The vlog started. You know what time it is. On oh, gang, let's go, boy. Ah, the YouTube is back. Back on the YouTube, my boy. So, I was telling everybody that I look like a starving artist right now. You know what I'm saying? I look like a starving artist. <laughs> Tell you to get a cut. These guys about to see the first reveal of my damn head. It's been a while. <gasps> damn. Yeah, it ain't looking too good for me, bro. God damn. I look old as hell. It's crazy how a haircut can make you look real young. But I ain't looking too young right now. Oh my God, I look old as hell. Damn, my head big as hell. I do got a light bulb head though, I ain't gonna cap. But damn. I'm ugly. <laughs> Alright, after the haircut, as you guys can see. Look at that. I just gotta get my waves back, you know what I'm saying? I have my thing here. <laughs> <laughs> but we about to we about to be out, you know what I'm saying? Looking nice. Little put the kinda. We gotta be out, but I'll see you on a little bit. What's good, everybody? Now, I know I said I didn't like it, but I'm trying to I'm I'm starting to grow into it. I ain't gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what this is right here, y'all. Tell me what this is. Y'all see that? 
Looked like I fell down on my bicycle and scraped my chin. But um, I'm about to head to the gym with my cousin because we be going to the gym every single day. I'm trying to get them motivated to go to the gym more and get big. And um, I'll show y'all what we do in the gym. So what's good, y'all? I'm with my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what it is. We out here, we about to go to the gym. We got, ah! <laughs> yeah, we see you over there. Yo, it's real cold. That's why it's real brick. My hands cold, my feet cold. It's, it's, it's time to go to Punta Cana, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm tired of all of this bullshit ass weather. We getting hot, cold, hot, cold, 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 hot. But this gym looking real packed over here. I ain't gonna cut. All right, look at this. Damn. I hope I get to work the fuck out. These motherfuckers be playing in here. Look at this motherfucker. He been on a treadmill for like five hours. Get your ass off that shit. But we about to head in the gym and I'll show y'all a couple of workouts. Y'all you know? want to build muscle real fast? Calisthenics. As you can see, my cousin wasn't like that. Now he jacked up. He jacked up. And we got... She going ham over here, you know what I'm saying? Look at them arms. They're not playing no games. We on the, we on the mission to getting real fit. But I'm going to show y'all one thing y'all need to learn as y'all are doing calisthenics. Y'all got to do muscle-ups. Y'all got to get used to that. I'm trying to get my cousin to do it. He's going to be doing it soon. But we got to build the arm strength up. And he'll be able to get up there fast just like how I do. This is the elite. Don't do this at home, all right? Do not do this. Only y'all can do this. When y'all build your muscle, y'all can do this. Ready? One. Uh, this one. Two. Three. Four. Five. That shit hurt. God damn. Alright. If you want to get like that. Start doing push-ups at night. Start 20, and then start 30, 40, and then try to get to 100. And then you're gonna be at the top. But um, right now, we tired right now, but we, we still going through it. this nigga lying. Uh -huh. He don't be doing his push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be slacking a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. I could have been a little bit bigger if I would've did a couple more. Woo. So I'm starting to head to the airport. Feel me? My mom over here, she dropped me off at the airport. Started walking. You know what I'm saying? My border pass, my passport, feeling all happy. Then, god damn, it got cold as hell. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Feel me? I don't know how the white people was doing it right there. With no type of jackets. But your boy started flying, man. I love the window seat. Like looking out the window. And your boy got to Puta Kanta. God damn, it was hot. Loving it. Man, I was not pleased on that flight. Had somebody snoring right next to me, his legs wide open, and he had the nerve to put his head on me. So you know what I did? I said, get your ass up. Motherfucker almost caught a heart attack. Next time, don't put your head on me, boy. We don't do that out here. You feel me? I finally made it to put the corner, and I got these taxi drivers harassing me, talking about, yo, you need a ride? Hey, papi, you need a ride? Nah, bro, I'm trying to look for my girl Nelly. She coming here to pick me up, you feel me? Yo tiene familia. So what's good, y'all? We are in the Dominican Republic. You know what I'm saying? With the homie, Nelly. You know what I'm saying? She bringing me around, you know what I'm saying? We gotta go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? She scheduled a massage for me. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. And then, you know what I'm saying, throughout the day, I don't know what we're going to do, but there's a lot of stuff to do out here, and we got to get it all done. So get ready for a nice little adventure to see this beautiful land, and uh, I'll see y'all later. I can't even lie to y'all, yo. The driving conditions out here is worse than Boston and New York put together. Now, it's like the cars are stuck together like Legos and ain't nobody wanna let you get out. And then you got little, little people, you know, driving them motorcycles all around. And you gotta be careful for them. I don't know how she drive this. 
but she a gangster for driving the way she be driving out here. Cause she kept me safe all the way around. But we headed to go get some empanadas in a nice little shape, you feel me? And then I'ma go get a massage. And then she had some other activities planned for me. But she be on her stuff, you know what I'm saying? She a hustler, she makes sure you, 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 you good, you feel me? And that's what I like about Nelly, you know what I'm saying? She gets straight to it and she know exactly where to bring you for you to have a good time. So, let's get it. That is crazy, bro. She's just sitting regular, bro. She is chilling, bro. She don't got no type of fear. So close. So close to the floor, not playing no games, bro. Damn. Get a little kid, mommy. This wide screen. So this is what we work with right here. Mm -hmm. At like I told y'all. Some pineapple juice. What you got? Tina juice. It's like orange. Oh, she got orange juice. She got orange juice. But uh, let me take my little first bite real quick. Let's see. What you got? Um, corn and cheese. Corn and cheese? I feel you. Now you know I had to hop on the mic for this one. When I tell you this lady touched my soul with them hands, and then when she put that oil on, like, y'all hear my ashy hands? And when she pressed them on my body, I was gone in one second. When she went to go do my feet, I was like, God damn. Oh, my God. Then she started going to my goddamn back. And it was like, oh, Lord. And I only paid a little bit for this. I think it was like an hour and 30 minutes I was sitting there. And she did the front and the back. She was going crazy. She was like, you want me to do it harder? I was like, yeah, do it harder, baby. You know what I'm saying? But that man, god damn. She took my goddamn soul out my damn body. Shit. Oh, oh. Woo. I just finished getting a massage, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm looking all shiny and shit. Y'all ain't never seen me as shiny as this. So shiny as I'm being. And when the sun hit me, I'm gonna be black as a Power motherfucker. On. You know what Connection. I'm saying? We got Nelly over here. She's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Hola. We both, both of you are in yellow and shit. <laughs> we about to go to a, where we going? Let them know where we going. To a party boat. Okay, we going to a party boat. <laughs> I've never been on a party boat, you know what I'm saying? You guys know that I don't really like water like that, but since she's going, you know what I'm saying? Since she's going, she said that she got me if, I, if I'm drowning, you know what I'm saying? You got me? You got me from drowning? You see, 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 of course. Uh, okay, okay. Well, let me drown now. Now, if you guys are wondering what that is, that is like a Disney cinema right there. And I hope y'all enjoy my commentary because I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah. So we in a resort. Oh my God, she is the connect. You see, Nelly is the connect. You can get you anywhere you want to go. Shit. This is crazy. I feel like I'm in Florida right now. Florida. But we in a different type of Florida. Damn. Trees get high as hell. This is, in, this is incredible, guys. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I feel like I'm in like a mini, like a mini jungle. I love it. Child boy. Uh, this is my favorite song when I was younger. Down. Down? Down. I make it. Going down, down. It's getting crazy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got private security, you know what I'm saying? Leading us to the way to the gates. As you guys can see, he's on his nice little scooter in the nice little heat. Little white shirt. Feel me? Damn. So Nelly told me that I need some some um some lotion. I mean some sunscreen because you know what I'm saying? She said I'm gonna get burnt out here. But I don't believe that. Cause my skin is tough as nails. You feel me? Tough as nails. As you can see, I'm out here. But as you can see, we out here right here. And um, she said she's gonna be sliding on that slide. I don't know, I zoomed in for y'all. I don't know if I can get that close. But me sliding on that slide, I don't know, man. Oh, yes? 
I gotta do it for you. I gotta do it for Nelly, y'all. Damn, she said if I don't go, I'm a chicken, right? Gallina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chicken, y'all. So I gotta do what I gotta do. Go ahead and push that. Push that. You gotta go help him. You you a sports player, right? I do that before. You do that? I was working in an aquatic place. So this dude just decides to just put his whole ass in the camera. No one I'm recording. He seen me recording. What, what what is you doing? Just just put your whole ass in the damn camera. Damn. I don't worry about anything. I'll post it later. So we out here on the boat. Yo. Whoa. Last time I was out here like on a boat was like New York, and I had to go to I had to go to Statue of Liberty. Look at this, y'all. We are out here. I'm gonna make sure this thing don't fall out my hair. Jesus. So we are up here. How you living life? You, it look like you're living life out here. What's going on? Chilling? Oh my God. So where are we going? Explain to the people what we're doing. What are we doing? Now we are going to see the dolphins uh -huh. from the boat, there are the Uh-huh. And after, we are going to do a snorkel, uh -huh. see a lot of fishes. And after we are going to the natural swimming pool, it's a party where all the party boats go there. Uh -huh. Like, 80 party boats. 80? Okay, oh, 18. shit! Oh my God, I'm so excited, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I feel like I'm in a movie. I feel like I'm like... What's that dude name? Uh, like I'm a mafia guy, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm playing those games. You hear the music? You gotta move your hips. So as you guys can see, everybody's having a good time snorkeling. They take you to a nice little place over here where it's kind of deep. And you put your goggles on, you look down, you just see a bunch of fish. It's crazy, bro. Awesome experience. Awesome experience. That's how the boats be, man. Damn. There's all different types of genre music. Now, this is a motherfucking spring break. Holy shit. Hey, Lord. Cat. God damn. <laughs> everybody so welcome to the vlog we're going crazy right now there's like party boats everywhere right now this is crazy from this side to this side to this side to this side it's fucking insane like damn i don't know if y'all can hear me right now but shit this shit is crazy Y'all probably like, yo, why you got a hat on, bro? I already went in the water, I took my hat off, all that shit. Went scuba diving, all of that shit. But right now, this shit finna get crazy. But, um, we'll touch base a little bit later. We about to turn up. Put a vlog, 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 put a vlog. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 yes, sir. So, as you guys know, this is the girl Nelly. She's not playing no games. As you see, she got moves. You know what I'm saying? She said that she like, she like hardcore music, but I think she like the, the Spanish music. You feel me? She like the Spanish music, y'all. This shit crazy, bro. They got pineapples on a boat. They got pineapples on a boat. Damn. Those pineapples or those pineapples? God damn. Those pineapples or those pineapples? God damn. So this boat popped out of nowhere and then they dancing over there and then they having a twerk contest over there 
everybody lit, and then they ain't doing shit over there, and this shit dry as hell over there. Damn! This nigga got a sweater on in the water! What's going on? Huh? Don't get burnt! Nah, you gotta take that off, G! What the fuck? So, Nelly told me to come to this place, right? And they came out with this, some more fungal. If y'all know what more fungo is, this thing look like a cake with some shrimp on it. Looking real good right now, looking real tasty. But look at, look at, look at. She didn't even tell me what the secret sauce was because I, look at, you see my plate, but watch when you see her plate because she got a cheat code over there. What? What? That look good as mother. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Don't be. I'm jealous. I'm very jealous right now. But she had told me that today's Women's Day, so I can't be jealous. You feel me? Um, we're just gonna have a good time. I'm gonna eat my little um, my little cake right here, and um, we're gonna have a good day. But I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. Make sure you hit that like button. Oh, she gave me a piece of chicken, guys. No, she did. That's love. That's love right there. Happy Women's Day. As you can tell by the picture, your boy is out. I had a great time. I was exhausted from all the stuff that we did and all the sun that I got. You feel me? And I was in the water, so you know, I was a little tired. You feel me? Nelly brought me back to my hotel. And I was chilling. I was I was gone. But I advise anybody that's watching this video right now to go to DR. Get your passport, save your money, go to DR. It's a beautiful place. And this is just the beginning, bro. I got so much other footage for the next vlog. It's about to get crazy. But if you made it to the end of this video, y'all, I want y'all to go to Nelly's Instagram. It's going to be in the link in the description. And tell her, thank you for taking care of Nick's. That's all I want. I see y'all in the next vlog. Love y'all.